Whoa! What was that? Wait, a huge sinkhole just appeared. Is this a threat you were you were talking about, Mewtwo? I haven't seen you in, in so long. What's been going on, man? He's here. Volcanic Buzzwool. The the crater. That was Buzzwool? Wait! Buzzwool is an Ultra Beast! Could it be one of Ultra Necrozma's champions that he sent out to get me? Oh no, if that's the case, then we're in real trouble. Huh? Ultra Necrozma is behind all of this? That would make sense. It loves creating chaos. In the old region, humans were causing enough chaos already. But now, it took matters into its own hands. You really are always a step ahead, Pixel. But, I believe I have a piece of information that you don't know yet. A piece of information? What, what is it? What are you on about? Well, I had been following Buzzwool around since it emerged from the wormhole. And I found that the portal grew weaker for a few hours after Buzzwool emerged. I don't know what was on the other side of the portal, but I'm guessing that creating them is taking a lot of energy out of Necrozma. Yo, so... To beat Necrozma, all we need to do is defeat his champions before he has the time to reload or to bring new ones in. Because if we attack him in that weak stage, then we've got him, right? That's what I'm guessing. Precisely. So, if you wouldn't mind, Pixel, I would like to fully rejoin your team to aid you in this mission. If I wouldn't mind, I would love having you back, Mewtwo. I mean, I've already broken the Zookeeper code. Enough. I'm still so conflicted about all of this, but I've just got to focus on what's going on with Necrozma and ignore the rest, because this is potentially world-changing stuff, and breaking my code to save the world, I, I think is morally okay. I don't know. Anyways, alright Mewtwo, let's have you join the team. Yo, Mewtwo's back on the team! And I just realized, all this purple space goo, it's been spreading even more. Man, this is crazy. Yo, Aracor, are, are you okay, man? Um, is Ampharos feeling any better? Whoa, no! Ampharos is still affected by it? it must be because Buzzwool just emerged. It must be amplifying the effects of... I don't even know what it is, but like, the portal's distorting the Pokemon's minds? It's crazy. Are you doing okay though, man? Ah, uh, Ampharos isn't changing back! This is a, a catastrophe! I would totally help you fix things, but, uh, to be, to be honest, I'll probably end up doing more harm than good. Here's a healer and some fireproof armor to help you out though. Well, thank you, man. Honestly, um... That's a huge help, dude, and don't feel bad about anything. Fireproof helmet, I like it. <laughs> it's layered on top of my beanie. Should I? I'm gonna leave my beanie on, it's stylish, bro. It's <laughs> it's a little bit strange to look out. The strange to look at, I mean, but you know what? Fashion can be peculiar, so it <laughs> fits right in. Whoa, so this is the crater. Whoa, is that a, looks like a volcanic Araquanid. Man, it looks so cool, but if it's down there, I'm guessing it's standing in our way. Alright guys, we have some battling to do. Quilava, Bastiodon, Tyrantrum, and Mewtwo. Let's get it on then. Tyrantrum, I need to re-nickname you. Percy, my boy, man. Missed having you. It's been amazing to have you back on the squad. Alright, let's jump down. Wait, how are we going to get back up? Oh, we can fly on Mewtwo, right? Yeah, that should work. Okay. Oh, don't break my legs! Oh, that was close. Whew. Whoa. Yeah, Araquanid looks sick. There's like a bubble of of lava particles floating around its head. But do I... It looks like I have to fight it. It's level 60! But that shouldn't be the worst, right? It's a water bug type. Uh, that's not the best for Mewtwo, but Percy should be able to take it. What I'm thinking is we should go in maybe Bastiodon and Toxic it. I think that'll probably be our... Our battling strategy for a lot of this. Oh my goodness, a rock it is huge. What a cool Pokemon. Okay, can we survive a hit? We have Sturdy, so we should be able to. Liquidation brings us down to 1 HP. Sturdy is such an amazing move, honestly. 
All right, bring in the protect. Nice, nice, nice to get an extra round of the toxic off. Bubble beam doesn't hit us, but wait, does Araquanid have leftovers? It looks like it healed itself. It is healing itself, okay. But the poison is gonna keep getting more and more intense. So we're fine. Uh, Quilava, I think you're gonna have to take a back seat. I'm sorry, dude. Um, until we find a way to train you better. Um, Head Smash should actually be able to do a, a ton of damage to Rockwind. It might even one shot. It, we avoid it. Avoid the attack. Uh oh. Okay. Lunge. Okay. No. No. So Rockwind. Uh, at half HP now, or almost. So I think a Head Smash, if it lands, should do it. Right. Awesome. Sweet. So that was the first of the Pokemon in the way to get to Buzzwool beaten down. I, I don't know, how many of them are we going to have to face to go up against Buzzwool? Alright Mewtwo, this is the moment of truth. Can we fly back up? And we just got five rare candies, I just noticed, and an extra piece of magma armor. I wasn't even really paying attention. Alright, um, well, flying around a Mewtwo is going to make transport a whole lot easier, but let's get healed up. And so, with the rare candies we, we're getting, we could actually get Quilava close to evolving. Um, I think it's 36, but what I'm thinking is that I don't know if we should evolve Quilava here in this fiery place because Quilava is a sandy variant and I don't know if evolving him here is going to turn him into a volcanic one. I mean, I don't know, I don't want to like force you to be a variant against your will. So I think I'm going to give the rare candies to Bastiodon, um, just so Bastiodon can tank up a little bit. Endure. It's fine. And you guys have remained on the squad, I guess. Well, thank you so much for supporting me, honestly. Bastiodon, you're just super sick looking. Um, yeah, like, you're, you're my link partners. You're not really officially part of the squad, but you're still helping me out, which I'm forever grateful for. But Quilava, if we end up in, like, a beachy or oceany area, you're going to be next to evolve. And whoa, it's a Dawn fan! Oh my goodness, could it be... Like the older sibling of the Fampies we saw earlier, just right out there. I'm so sorry, Fampies. You're probably worried sick about where Donphan went. Level 60 again. All right, and it looks like there's a split path coming up. Well, Donphan, sorry man, we're gonna have to take you down. Let's bring out Mewtwo. Let's do some raw power battling. There we go, my boy Mewtwo. And um, dang. Psycho Cut, Psy Shock, Shadow Sneak and Slash. Let's go for the Psy Shock. Dude! Not that, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would actually. Magnitude 6, okay, and it has leftovers. Alright, time to bring in the Psycho Cut. That should do it. And that didn't do that much either. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this. Uh, I was kind of taken aback there. This Dawn Fan is actually putting in the work. We should be careful. Uh. Uh. I guess, like. Psycho Cut is probably the strongest move we have, so I'm just going to keep using it. And then we can probably finish things off with Percy. Mewtwo's taken down. This is a bulky Dawn fan, actually. Do we want to bring in Bastiodon to Toxic Hit? Maybe just in case? Because, right, if it's using Ground-type moves, that's going to do a ton of damage to Percy. So I think the Toxic will give us that little edge here. But it is going to get some leftovers healing. Oh, wait, it used... It avoided the attack. Okay, that's fine, though. Um... But it was recharging. Did it use, like, Giga Impact or something? Dang. Okay, we just got totally destroyed. It avoided the attack again? Oh, no. Dude. Dude, how unlucky can we get? Um, I don't even know why I'm clicking Protect, because I'm really just stalling right now. Unless he goes for... Nope, it's not going to do anything. Alright, well... I guess I'll let Bastion take the hit. That sucks, dude. So now... We're gonna go out and I don't know if I don't think Percy can do it though. Oh my god, Percy, you're you're actually huge, straight up. Okay. Um yeah, I, I mean I'll go for Earthquake, but if Donphan brings out Earthquake against us, yeah, magnitude. Magnitude 9 even. Not a chance. Okay. Uh Kulava. <laughs> you know what? I don't wanna uh, have you take a Bad earthquake to the face. We're gonna prevent that from happening. Wait, Mewtwo fainted! How am I gonna get back up? Oh, I did not think that through. I really didn't. Uh, uh, is there, is there a healer down here somewhere? If not, then I'm in a really bad spot. I guess let's just really hope that there's a healer somewhere. And I just noticed the the pink goo is spreading throughout these paths as well. These volcanic paths. Dang. Wait, there's a healer 
it looks like there. Oh, let me not step on the magma. Whoa, okay. That's convenient. That's awesome. Um, so with this, we won't have to go up anymore. I will probably want to get some sunlight though. I, I, <laughs> I prefer to, between the battles, take a quick break up there because this is pretty intense. Uh, and it's pretty hard to breathe in here, honestly. All the fumes from the magma and the goo. And the longer we spend in here, the more likely our Pokemon are to be hypnotized by the the effects of the ultra wormhole. Okay, so let me think. Um, what did we do wrong? I, I think let's start with Bastiodon. We just got really unlucky with the toxic mix missing twice. So out comes the toxic, goes for magnitude. We hung on with sturdy, and now it lands. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go for the protect, and then we should be good. Should be good. Dude, Bastiodon is honestly, even though, like, technically by level, Bastiodon's one of the weaker members of the team, Bastiodon's kind of an MVP. And wait, what was it? Oh, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna switch out there. I wasn't even thinking. All right. So, um, out comes Mewtwo. We'll go for Psycho Cut. Should do a good amount, but the toxic damage should be doing the real hits here. Awesome. So that's negating the leftovers, healing, and giving us even more damage to this Don fan. So next move, we should be able to take it down, or maybe one more. Fire Fang, we avoided the attack, and Don fan fainted. Sick, and that's, that's five more rare candies and some Firestone leggings, not too shabby at all. So who do I want to give these to? Uh, here's the thing, we could give them to Mewtwo and Percy, just in case this Buzzwool is really overpowered. Maybe bring them up to level 60. Uh, yeah, let's do that just in case. And let's actually fly out for a minute just to get some downtime here. So, Mewtwo, sorry about you fading there for a sec, dude. No hard feelings, I hope. Whoop! Ooh, okay. Nice, nice. Trick shots while flying out of Mewtwo, you gotta love it. God, it's just, it's a casual thing. All the, all the millennials are doing it now. Mewtwo trick shots. Alright. Oh, Percy, be careful! <laughs> okay, here you're gonna get to level 58. And let's head back down. Dude, Araquan is such a sick Pokemon, honestly, honestly. I mean, it was it was a pleasure battling you, Araquan. And you too, Donphan. I just hope you guys can turn back to normal after we get through with this. Okay, so hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Um, we're gonna heal up. We're already healed up. And the right, there's a split path here. We can go either through here or there's just a wall of lava. Does Will our armor carry us through that? Will we be able to get through without taking too much? Oh, no, we are definitely taking damage from that. Um, I could possibly jump through it. It's a little bit risky, though. You know what? Risk is my middle name, and whoa! Gr Greninja, you're here! And I'm on fire, so this is a bad reunion, but could it be? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is ruining it. It's ruining the moment, but... Uh, Avocado, could that be you? Gr Greninja? Greninja! Greninja recognizes you immediately. It seems elated to see you. And to see Tyrantrum and Mewtwo as well. Avocado, it really is you! Although, I guess since you're not green anymore, the name Avocado doesn't really work as well. But, um... <laughs> In, it sticks. It's a good name. Come on. Avocado is universal. But Greninja, I wonder what you're doing here. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Are are you ready? This is the big question. Are you ready to beat up some Ultra Beasts? Because that's what we're here to do. Gra, Greninja! Greninja is eager to join the team again. Sick, dude. Well, Greninja, join the squad. Awesome! Man. The team is all coming back together, and I've got to—I've got to call you Avocado. We got to keep the trend up. Um, and I was thinking, yo, Greninja, did you create this wall of lava to protect yourself from the spread of that purple goo? If that's what was happening, that was really brave of you and really risky. If it had spread any more, you'd have been cornered. I'm glad I came here. I wonder if the space goo can affect humans as well. I'm not sure, but with Avocado on the squad, that's a huge asset, and should make taking down these next few Pokemon a whole lot easier. And whoa, it's a cloister! I gotta get this fire off of me. Is there? There's water right here. Ooh, 
Alright, we're good. Nice, nice, nice. Um, dude, there's a cloister just chilling in the wa in the lava. That's sick, actually. My dude's just taking a, a spa bath. It's probably really relaxing. And you look sick as well. You have like a lava core. How cool is that? Cloy! Cloister! Oh, did I did I interrupt your bath there? I'm really sorry about that. But you're standing in my way between me and Buzzwool, so you're going down. Sorry, my dude. Let's bring out Avocado right off the bat. Level 62, that's a little bit higher, but we can take it. Okay, and yo, you are huge. Okay, what do we want to do? Uh, Avocado, you have protein, so if we go for a move, we're going to switch types. What would be good? But being a water type is pretty good against Cloyster, because then we resist, but then we're not dealing any damage to it. Uh, let's go for Shadow Sneak. Let's just get some damage. That did nothing, dude. I should have gone for Night Slash or something. Supersonic! That's annoying. Okay, uh, what if I U-turn out of here? Come on, land the hit. You hurt yourself in confusion, that's okay. Hydro Pump! Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, come on, Greninja, just land one Night Slash. You got it down. Perfect. Aurora Beam takes us down. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna go for the Bastion on strats. We're gonna go for my boy, because... We, honestly, these mons are pretty hard to take down without Bastiodon. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, go for Protect Bastiodon. Bastiodon's just the MVP. Straight up. Straight up. You were Kiwi's friend, and now you're our friend. Sick, okay. So, we can actually go for the Double Protect. It's, there's only like a 25% chance of it hitting, and it missed. That's okay, but it, it's worth going for it, because we know we're gonna not um, be able to get a hit in anyways. Um, so, I, I'm thinking Percy now. Dude, Percy is huge. And whoa, I see Buzzwool out of the corner of my eye. He looks sick. I, I guess we'll we'll see him in a bit, though. So, Percy against the Cloister. Let's go for Head Smash. Can we outspeed? Aura Beam does a ton. Go for the Head Smash. Do you land it? Sick, dude. And oh, that was a double KO. That's insane. The recoil from that Head Smash took you out, Percy. Dang. Okay, well, we got five Bear Candies and... The Firestone Boots completing the set, and now I think we can just straight up walk in lava and be fine. Whoa, how cool is that? Dang, okay. Let's heal up, and I think Buzzwool is next. But first, we want to think about how we want to distribute this this candy before we take on Buzzwool, because Buzzwool is a... Yeah, Buzzwool is fighting and bug. So Mewtwo is going to be partially good, but Mewtwo will be hit hard by the bug moves. Probably taken out immediately. Avocado, uh, could avocado could be good if avocado goes for shadow sneak, because then you're ghost type avocado, and then you won't be taking much damage from the fighting or bug type moves. I'm just thinking because the ultra beasts have beast boost, I think it's called, and every time the Buzzwool is gonna KO a Pokemon, we're gonna take some serious. We're, we're, we're gonna be at a serious disadvantage because it's gonna boost its attack whenever it faints a Pokemon. So I don't know if the Bastiodon strats are the best idea, but let's head up just to give these rare candies out. Maybe we should just go for it. Um, Bastiodon, honestly, the Toxic is probably gonna carry us again. I think let's give uh, a couple rare candies to Mewtwo, uh, just so you can get a good hit in. And then rest to Avocado, that's what I'm thinking. And then hopefully we have a shot at beating that buzz wall. All right, we're going back in. Whoa. Final, final battle in this little toxic fume filled area with our full fire gear. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll go on to finding the next wormhole opening. We'll have to go back to Kira to see if we can get any news on that. But we have to do that probably the same day, like today. That's gonna be insane. We, we just gotta defeat as many of Necrozma's champions as we can back to back so that we have a chance of getting him weak enough for us to defeat him. There's Buzzwool. Whoa, you're pretty, you're pretty swole, dang. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's actually honestly pretty sick looking. You got like lava coursing through your body. I mean, if you weren't super threatening to me, I would be pretty impressed. And I am actually still pretty impressed. What's going on, Buzzwool? How you doing, my dude? So you're Ultra Necrozma's challenger. How funny that Solgaleo picked you as his champion. Time to humiliate Solgaleo again. Then, I suppose. Humiliate Solgaleo again? Are, are you for real, dude? I mean, I'm not the one with the Pinocchio nose here, man. <laughs> 
Honestly, it's pretty cool. You, you look dope. I didn't mean to say anything bad about you. Let's battle you. Level 64. That's rough. Okay. This is risky, man. But I'm going to go for Bastionon just because I think the Toxic will be super useful. But after Buzzwill KOs Bastiodon, we're going to be in a bad spot because it's going to have boosted attack. And its attack is already insanely high. Reversal? Yo, Bastiodon actually didn't need Stardy to survive that. Sick, Bastiodon, you are getting them gains. Okay, um, so we're going to go for Protect, get that poison damage in. And does Buzzwill have leftovers? It doesn't look like it does. That's awesome. Okay, so outcomes, let's say we're not going to land the move anyways, it's just clicking it. Let's say you're clicking it, and we got Buzzwood down so much! That's sick, dude, this is honestly not going to be as bad as I thought it would. Um, so, let's bring out Mewtwo, and I, I guess it, we, we could take it down with the Psyshock, right? Yes, we can! Dude, Buzzwood, come on, you were flexing on us. It was, it was no, it was no contest, honestly, no contest at all. Whoa! What happened? We're out, and Solgaleo, you're here. Nautical variants?